Yeah, as we see, this is not dual rootable. All right, this is how to dual boot a computer so it has a bunch of operating systems. As you know, I previously did a video on this Toshiba Satellite Pro L750 running on Vista 8.1 and obviously Windows 7. So right now, as we see, this currently runs Windows 7. What else? I just put a hard drive in it. Because I was running on another hard drive when I did that video. So enough talking, uh, let's get dual booting. Um, before we start, I, I know I said this before, I usually don't include this laptop, but this is my Dell Inspiron 5559. Pretty good shape, fairly new, and I've already got the Vista ISO file, so I could test it, so I could dual boot for you. Alright, enough talking, let's get to it. So, to dual boot, get into your start menu, and just search up create or format disk partitions. Yep, so right here, you want to press here. And then just go on the full screen. All right, so we are, we got 506 gigabytes of storage. Right now, I'm so you want to right click it and then you want to shrink volume. So what I recommend when doing this is if you're going to only do two, maybe just cut it in half. And then if you're going to do multiple, leave a, leave like half the space you do for the first dual boot you do on the first one. And then just and then leave as much space for your main operating system you use. So here we are now. So that should, that should be just enough because I'm only doing two operating systems anyways on this 600 gigabyte hard drive. All right, let's shrink. And then this can take a little bit of time. That's totally normal. All right, we are ready. And now it is ready to dual boot. And now, if you have a spare USB, I recommend use that. And if you're gonna do it, do a Vista ISO file, I'll put a link in the description below for the archive side that I used to get this ISO file. Alright, oh, I've already downloaded this ISO file for Vista, as you see right there. I just have to put it onto a USB, or in some scenarios, I'll just get the disc out just to show you. You might get some of these installation discs, but this one... But I would use it on this Toshiba, but unfortunately, this is day 2 bit Vista, which I do not like. So then I just had to get a 64 bit ISO file. The reason why I chose 64 bit is because it, 32 bit doesn't take as much as the specs, like such as RAM. And never, and that's why I don't like 32 bit. I'll just put this back for now. And. And this is part one of the video completed. Now, all right. And then to do that, I I recommend doing Rufus. If you if you all do not have that, I'll put a link in the description to of downloading Rufus for you. Just double click it, and then it'll take you straight to it. And then it'll ask you this, and then just say yes. Otherwise, it will not open your file. All right. Now, what I want to do is. I recommend doing this to a USB you don't use because when you do these operating system things, it can erase it. And so, which I don't really care about for this USB in this case. Yep, I can just, it'll automatically delete it anyways. So, all right, I'll go select. And then now, it'll take you straight to it. In this case, I'm just gonna do Vista, obviously. And then we'll do open. Then, then now we gotta make sure the partition schemes are correct. Now I do not want UEF5, it'll be MBR, because this is BIOS obviously. And then but I would do it on the Dell, but this is completely unsupported hardware for this because it's meant for Windows 10 as you see. So right now on BIOS, now we can start. And then it'll ask you this, and then if you just want to raise it, just say okay and it'll automatically do it for you. 
All right, and then I'll be, and then I'll wait for it to do it. Two thousand years later. All right, now she is done. As you can see, it is all ready. All right, thank you, Rufus. Uh, now, what we want to do is eject USB safely. So, eject. All right, thank you, Dell. Now, we plug it into the Toshiba, which is currently off right now, charging. Just plug it into any USB port, USB 2.0 will do. And right now, you want to power on the machine. Now, go into boot options. And now make it, make sure it's on USB and then, then if it is press enter. There you go. That easy. All right, here it is. This is just a different. All right, we are all ready to go. Let's do it. And now it's going to install Windows Vista onto the partition I did it in. All right, been going for about a minute and it's already at 70%. I've actually never tried Vista on this hard drive. Well, I tried it on the hard drive that's currently in this Dell. And that worked. I'm gonna do it on the Toshiba one. And see how that goes. All right, now it's actually done completing the installation. So now it's just getting ready to restart. Alright, now it should do this. And here we are. Now it's in the windows. Alright, let me just let's set it up here.
Now here it is on Vista. Look at that. And then now should just do this. Oh my god, that spiked. Alright, I'll be back when it's done. Alright, we are nearly done now. Now we're done. Still, just stop trying off a USB now because... Now it's fully installed. Now it's just preparing the desktop and everything. And then here's Vista. I just had to install my drives and everything. And here's the specs and everything. Now we got everything. I just need to change my screen resolution, of course, because it, my drives are outdated. And let's just go to screen resolution. Uh, it is so much different to Windows 7, though, I must say. Alright, let's see if the door. Alright, let me just check the USB first. I believe it's drive G. All right. Now let's see if the dual booting works. Hey, there it is. Now she works on dual booting. Just select any of them. I got Windows 7 and it's the now for once. Now let's just select let's just select seven just so we show it works. There we go. Yeah. And then I'll show you, you get all your files and everything back. Easy stuff. And there's all my stuff and everything. All right, let me. All right, let me just type my secret secret password in. All right, we've got it to work. Now everything works as per normal. Alright, let me, let's just restart just to try and boot into Vista now. Told you we'd get this to do a boot. <laughs> hey. Yep, still comes up. Let's just go back into Vista. And it's dual booted. Well, I hope that hope helps you all for those who want to try dual booting. If you like the video, please subscribe.
and then if you're not a Vista user or a 7 user, I'd recommend being a 7 user. I'm only using Vista because it works fine on my computer. So it's also got good hardware for it. In my case. So yeah, here she is. All works. Hope you like. Subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.